And so I, you know, I would be surprised not to see six-figure Bitcoin over the next 18 months. Obviously, anything's possible, but but I'm I'm bullish on both gold and Bitcoin in that in that time frame. Because even though obviously Bitcoin supply is constrained, if the price goes up, you know, 3x or 5x in a fairly short period of time, you generally see some of those older coins start to come to market and start meeting that new demand. And we've seen some of that, but so far we've seen less of that in this cycle than in prior cycles. A fourth Bitcoin having a significant event in the cryptocurrency world has finally concluded. As with the previous Bitcoin halving events, the Bitcoin price might be preparing for its journey to the moon, and we are all here for it. What if I told you that a simple five-figure investment could balloon into six figures in just a few months? Sounds almost too good to be true, right? Well, hold on to that thought, because that's exactly what some of the sharpest minds in the industry, like Lynn Alden, are predicting. In today's video, we're diving deep into these bold forecasts. We'll explore why these experts are so bullish about Bitcoin's future right after this monumental halving event. And here's something to really kickstart that FOMO. According to leading analysts, there might just be a 180-day window to capitalize on this predicted surge. Why such a specific time frame? You'll need to stick around to find out. But first, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Now, let's get into those juicy details. The 2024 Bitcoin halving event is over. What's happening? April 20th marked a milestone moment for Bitcoin. Yes, the much-anticipated 2024 Bitcoin halving event has come and gone. For those new to the crypto scene, halving is a big deal in the Bitcoin ecosystem. It's a coded event dreamt up by Bitcoin's mysterious creator Satoshi Nakamoto that happens about every four years. So, what's it all about? It's essentially a shift designed to slash the rate at which new Bitcoins are minted. So why all the hype? Well, each halving reduces the reward that miners get for verifying transactions and adding them to the blockchain. This year, we saw these rewards cut in half, tightening the flow of new Bitcoins into the market. This isn't just some techie insider stuff. Why? Well, it's important because it supports Bitcoin's assumption as a digital gold, a scarce resource in a digital age. Before this event, Bitcoin was ticking along at $59,651, but within the first week after the halving, it shot up to $67,215, a staggering 12% increase. That's not just a small bump, that's a significant leap toward reaching and maybe even surpassing its all-time high of $73,803 we saw back in March. This surge isn't some magic. It's fueled by a bunch of factors, including the recent nod from the US SEC approving Bitcoin spot ETFs and a general market optimism that central banks might slash interest rates. But here's where it gets spicy. While Bitcoin is climbing the charts again, not everyone's singing from the same hymn sheet about where it's heading next. With such a big move, you've got different opinions. Some are calling for the moon, while others are bracing for a roller coaster ride. The worst case scenario, why can Bitcoin's price dip? Now, while the general trend for Bitcoin post-having points north, there's always that annoying what if lingering in the air. What if the price takes a dive? Well, here's the twist. It might not be all doom and gloom even if it does. After a dip, Bitcoin could potentially spring back stronger, hitting new highs. Peter Schiff, a well-known critic of Bitcoin, hasn't held back in his skepticism, especially now. Schiff argues that Bitcoin still faces significant hurdles. For starters, he points out the soaring cost of transactions, which now average around $128. That's really expensive to transfer your own Bitcoin. Not to mention, transactions are slower, taking over an hour to process. According to Schiff, these factors strip away the practicality of Bitcoin as an everyday currency. And it's not just individual critics sounding the alarm. Big financial players like JP Morgan are also throwing in their two cents, hinting at potential troubles ahead. They flagged the Bitcoin market as overbought, meaning it's possibly too high too fast. Despite Bitcoin's impressive rally, JP Morgan notes that venture capital isn't pouring into crypto as one might think, suggesting a lack of broader financial confidence in this resurgence. Another point from JP Morgan touches on the mining sector. 
Post-halving mining operations face slashed rewards, which could lead to some miners shutting down, relocating, or even merging with bigger players to stay afloat. This kind of shakeup can have ripple effects across the market. So while the potential for a significant price increase exists, these factors introduce a level of uncertainty that could see Bitcoin's price experiencing some turbulence before any possible climb. The best case scenario, how high can Bitcoin go? Every Bitcoin having so far has paved the way for a monstrous bull run catapulting Bitcoin to new all-time highs. And this time around, there's a special spice in the mix making things even more intriguing. The recent green light for Bitcoin ETFs. This approval has stirred up the demand significantly, a key point noted by the analyst over at Bitfinex. Now, let's crunch some numbers to see how the landscape has shifted. Post having the daily influx of new Bitcoins into the market has halved from around 900 BTC to just 450 BTC, which sums up roughly $30 million worth of Bitcoin each day under the current market conditions. This significant cut in supply amidst a growing demand presents a classic economic scenario where scarcity could drive prices sky high. Bitfinex analysts have gone on to suggest that the demand could outpace the supply by as much as fivefold. Imagine that, demand quintupling against a tightening supply. And here's where it gets really juicy. Lynn Alden, a renowned investment analyst known for her sharp takes on macroeconomic trends, has weighed in with her forecast. In one of her recent YouTube discussions, Alden threw out a bold prediction that could have every crypto enthusiast on the edge of their seat. She anticipates Bitcoin could soar to six figures within the next 18 months. Yes, you heard that right a potential price tag exceeding $100,000 per Bitcoin. Here is why Alden thinks Bitcoin's price can go up. Um, so, you know, I, I do expect a pretty significant run here. Um, for Bitcoin, most of the indicators that I track uh, point to being fairly mid-cycle in terms of the bull run. Um, and so, I, you know, I still think the next 18 months look, look favorable for the asset. Uh, again, it, it, it tracks global liquidity pretty well. You know, the on-chain indicators can, you know, show us, for example, how much long-term holders are selling into the current strength. You have 180 days to seize the opportunity, but why? Now, you might have heard rumors or even loud conversations about Bitcoin hitting the six-figure mark soon. Well, let's break down why the next 180 days are crucial. Standard Chartered Bank, not too long ago in 2023, laid down a forecast that's looking more probable by the day. They pegged Bitcoin to reach a whopping $100,000 by the end of 2024. Now, what's pushing this prediction? A couple of heavy hitters in the financial catalyst lineup, the approval of US-based spot Bitcoin ETFs, and of course, the highly anticipated 2024 Bitcoin halving. Both milestones have now been reached, setting the stage for significant upward price trajectories. But it doesn't stop there. Another bullish outlook comes from a finder survey involving 31 fintech experts, projecting Bitcoin might even overshoot to $109,141 by year's end. This optimism isn't just pulled out of thin air, it's fueled by the increasing engagement of institutional investors who are now pouring into the crypto space more aggressively than ever. Think about it, less Bitcoin is being produced and more heavyweight investors want a piece of the crypto pie. It's basically supply and demand dynamics here, and it's why the next six months are critical. If you want to ride this wave, the window is now. Waiting too long could mean missing out on what could be the biggest bull run we've ever seen. Watch our next video and hear from Robert Kiyosaki about how Bitcoin can change your fortune in 2024. But before you jump to another video, leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't so far. We will be back with another video soon.